Hello and welcome, uh, I'm Max from aimtogame.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys a dummies guide on how to set up a bucket server. Uh, this is basically for Minecraft and I'm going to have all the links in the description starting from A to Z, going through every step you need to know on how to set up your own server. It is a very easy process to do and shouldn't take too long. I will be covering the basics of how to get your server started up, how to install plugins and how to configure those plugins. Um, I will not be going over port forwarding though, and you can probably find that in another YouTube video. The main purpose of the server is to show you how to set up your own server on a server hosting. That is the easiest way to do it and I recommend that to you guys all. Um, I'll have a link to some server hosting in the description. Right, so first off first. First of all, make a folder on your desktop. Doesn't matter what it's called, just anything you'd like. Now go to this site here, download dl.bucket.org and then you click, you'll click, you come up with this page here and if you want to download the recommended build so there's three different types of builds, there's development which is like a beta test there's a beta build which is higher up which means that more of the bugs are fixed and then there's a recommended build which means they're fixed as much as they can and then they're moving on to the next one so you can choose the recommended build uh, if you want to I'm just going to open up another tab with the alternate versions tab here and this will show you every version that is out so far um, I'd suggest running the beta builds personally because they fixed a lot of the Java errors and whatnot. So I'll download this one real quickly. Right, while it is downloading, we'll have a look into what we need to do. So first off, you'll need to go to hit into your bucket server folder, right click, new, uh, text document I think. Text document, no it needs to be notepad, sorry my bad. Let's see if it's here. It should be here somewhere. Notepad. There we go. Notepad. I'm just going to save it as a blank for the moment to bucket server. Where is it? I'm blind. This one here. Uh, and just call it uh, run.bat. It is important that you call it .bat, otherwise, it's not going to work. Right, once you've generated that, you need to go onto this piece here on the bucket forums. Once you're on the bucket forums, you go get craft bucket. This will take you to the wiki page. Basically, you need to figure out which operating system you're running off of. Now, if this is the piece that makes a difference, if you're running off of a server hosting, which is what I run mine off, they will already have this done for you this stage. You will not have to do this. This is only required to people who want to run off their private server. So you need to figure out which operating system you're running, so I'm running Windows, so you just copy this in here, paste it in here, save, and then close it. That is all you need to do with that. So, once your craft bucket's finished downloading, go across, drag it in like so, so now I have my craft bucket with my run file on the same server. So the next thing you need to check is, how does these two link together? So what you need to do is you need to edit this file here to make it say what this file is here. So if I wanted to run the craft bucket, it needs to be called craft bucket. So I'm going to simplify this really quickly. I'm just going to remove this here and just call it craft bucket. This will make it easier. And then I'm going to right click on my run bat, edit, and it's already done for craft bucket.jar. If you have wanted it to be, let's say, just bucket, you'd obviously change that to bucket.jar if anything you want to really. So now that it's working, we'll double click on the run and it should go up through the startup menu. If this is all working fine, this is what it'll look like. And it's just preparing the world files real quickly. Right, once it is done, it'll say done with this little message saying help, type help or question mark, it'll do. We want to run it one more time really quickly just to double check. There are no warnings, nothing is wrong preparing spawn area. There you go. As you can see it's all loaded, there are no error messages or anything there. So that is how you set up a basic craft bucket server. It's very easy, I mean your plugins folder, your world folder, world nether, uh, world end, band IPs, band players, it's pretty self-explanatory. Right, so basic editing. In most server hostings, they may have a control panel version of this you need to edit through that, not through this file here. Some you can edit through the files though. If you're running it off your computer, you'll need to edit this file here, server.properties. 
to edit any of these files I'd suggest you download Notepad++. I'll have this in the description. So right click on Serve Properties, Edit with Notepad++. Now the reason I use Notepad++ is to keep things all in columns. It spaces them out in groups of four. You cannot see this here due to the fact that um, it's all based on one column. I don't think, it, there you go, you can see it there, a faint line there. It just spaces things out, it's really nice and easy and keeps things nice and tidy. In Bucket there are loads of error messages and I'll make a separate video on how to fix most of these error messages. So, in this file you have allow nether, true or false, that's pretty self-explanatory, do you want nether, yes or no? Uh, level name, world, so this is going to be your main file, what's it going to generate, you know, world, PXD world. Um, allow, don't worry about this. Um, allow flight, true or false, whether people can fly on your server, leave the port as default. Um, level type, I think there's flatlands and default, I'm not quite sure, I can't really remember this at the moment. Um, Archon, just leave that. Level seed, if you have a seed you'd like to use, put in the seed. Server IP address, um, leave this blank. Server hostings will have their IP address here, but if it's just running off your personal computer, leave this blank. Uh, I think Hamachi servers need to have the Hamachi IP in here as well, like that. Max build height, you know, how high can people build to. Uh, spawn NPCs, so do you want NPC spawning, true or false? Whitelist enabled, so that's... Uh, if you set it to true, only people you've applied to the whitelist, which is, where's the whitelist here? So edit, it, just put their name, like let's say mine, Spaz for Life, and then Gustavo, like that. If you put those in, then Spaz for Life and Gustavo can enter it. I'm just going to cancel this. Oops, uh, cancel, close, whitelist. Yes, right. So, if that's true, then only me and Gustavo can enter. Um, so it's false. Spawn animals, whether animals can choose, uh, true or false. Online mode, true. I'd leave this true. If you set it to false, it means offline people can join, which means a lot of hackers and all sorts of nasty little bits and pieces can get into your server. PvP, true or false. Um, just depends whether you want a PvP server or not. Difficulty ranges from, I think, 1 to 3. 3 being the hardest, 1 being the easiest, or maybe even 0, I'm not quite sure. Game mode, uh, 0 being survival, game mode 1 being creative. Max amount of players you want on your server. You spawn monsters, where the monsters can spawn, true or false. Generate structures, where the structures can be generated, true or false. You know, like uh, NPC villages, I suppose. View distance, not quite sure about that one, just leave it as 10. And message of the day is what it will come up with uh, underneath your Minecraft server when you're on your server listings. So, yes. Once you've cha made any changes to this, always click save and close. Make sure to make sure everything's running smoothly, of course, just run this. And if there are no error messages, everything's running fine. So this looks like it's all running fine. There you go. So, next step is uh, plugins. How People always ask me, how do you install plugins? This is very easy to do. Um, I will be showing you guys this in the next tutorial. Um, for this tutorial, I think this is about it. If you would like to, the last piece of advice is, if you want to run this off your home computer, what I'd suggest is, I'm just going to open up my Minecraft very quickly. Right. So yes, I'm running a notice client on this at the moment, it's a hack client, I do apologise for that. Um, the reason for this being is I set up a Hunger Games server and we had to find all the chests. So you're just going to have to deal with that for now. Um, so, first of all, you want to actually join the server. So when you want to join your own server, you start it up. Um, this is the point where if you want your friends to join your server, you're going to have to port forward it or buy server hosting. So type in port forwarding on Google or on um, YouTube, port forwarding for Minecraft, and I'll show you how to do that. So, to connect to your own server now, it's just localhost, that will connect to it, or 0 .0 0.0.0.0. So either one of those will connect. Now only you can join your server at the moment unless you've port forwarded it. Um, and then you can go onto uh, whatismyip.com and it'll tell your IP address and you can get your friends to join us as well. It's very simple. Um, yes, as you can see Spaz for Life has joined. Yada 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 yada. Disconnect. Right. Um, yes, I think that is about it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install basic plugins 
add error messages and how to fix them. Alright, thank you. This has been Max from aimtogame.com uh, bringing you a tutorial on bucket for dummies. Thank you. Bye.